Dashing away with a smoothing iron, dashing away with a smoothing iron, dashing away with a smoothing iron, she stole my heart away. Well, it's very nice to be back in the old wash house, and um, today we're doing the main part of this program, which is the washing, the actual washing. Okay, so most people nowadays have access to a washing machine. I've got two here, and uh, it seems a funny thing to say, but um, it is useful if one reads the instruction book. Most objects can be washed at 30 degrees, which is good for the environment, it's not so expensive, and it's quicker. So there's everything to say for that. There are a few exceptions. I'll show you an example here. Now here is a bath mat with some extremely unfortunate stains. We won't go into that. And um, this obviously needs a hotter temperature. So I'm going to put it in this machine here, which eventually will set at 60, I would suggest. You'll notice I'm keeping the pale color, because if you start mixing things up, they're much less likely to exchange colors. But here we have our old brush here. And that will go into, um, bag as I mentioned before so it doesn't get entangled with the other stuff. We'll get on to the detergent. Now many people without thinking because it is very effective use biological detergent um, and this is very effective it's some scientific thing which happens with biological stuff. On the other hand it's pretty rough on the skin of anyone with sensitive skin. I don't use it personally for that reason. I use something milder, which is, is very good for all wools, really, with the possible exception of cashmere. Um, there, there are special detergents made for this. But before you put the detergent in, there are some things which you do treat. Now, I haven't unfortunately got an example of it, but quite often red wine gets spilt onto things. I don't really know why, but this is what happens. So if you spray with something which you can buy, particularly for red wine, there are other spray things which you can get particular misfortunes which you had on things. And the sooner you spray the better, you spray it and then you put the garment in. And that seems to be very effective. Now, this particular machine, name any, any names, and I'm not going to start it off now, has, has a button you can press which does everything for you. And I think a lot of the very modern machines do have this sort of thing. You really don't have to use your brain too much. But what well, I'm going to do something that particularly young people have no experience of at all. Now, a hand washing. There are certain things. For example, this cashmere sweater, which I think you'd be a bit mad to put into a machine. Because, terrible thing. Very expensive. So, you have, you have mild water. Now, in the old days, what people used to use to call their own machines, there's a thing like this. You don't see many of them around, except in antique shops. But this is called posa. And it does what you say you're doing it with your hands. You have, you have the things you're washing in the sink, and you just do this, and the water goes in and out, and in and out, and in and out. What I'll do for this beautiful cashmere sweater, I will put a little bit of the special wool stuff in. Right. Well, a nice thing to pass that, isn't it? Right, and then what you do when you're hand washing, and this is something that anchor decorations really haven't got, had experience with. You squeeze, you don't rub, you squeeze like this. You squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. And it's only very, it's not very hot water at all. It's quite a comforting sort of action, you know, it's quite a pleasant occupation. You squeeze it and squeeze it. I won't go through the whole process. You empty that out, clean water, and you repeat the thing several times. And on the last rinse, you squeeze it just as hard as you possibly can. And uh, possibly roll it in a towel if you haven't got a ringer, which don't seem to, people don't seem to have ringers nowadays. And you lay it out on a table or something. You spread out a towel. And as I say, getting as much water as you can out of it. You then lay it out and pull it into the sort of shape which you want it to be. I think 
that's right, like so. And just leave it in a place where there is some warmth. Not directly on too, on too much heat if it's very delicate like cashmere. That should dry in a day or whatever. That's about the right shape. Okay, so that's very satisfying. Well, goodbye from the old wash house. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you again. Stop for a moment because this is yeah. incredibly boring.